So today we're talking about DirecTV's new streaming dongle. So apparently this is an Android TV device and it's a dongle. So it's set to resemble slash compete with your Chromecast with your Fire Stick. And this is specifically designed for DirecTV just to add the cherry on top. This might be completely free. So we're going to jump into the details. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So for this, I'm going to be reading a little bit from the desk. I'll link the full article in the description. Title of this one, DirecTV begins shipping new stream and dongle. And uh, if I didn't mention the name of this one is Gemini Air. So let's take a look at what it looks like or the rumored look. So can't really see much detail on the dongle itself, but it's really similar to the Chromecast or Google TV as far as the form factor. As far as the ports, don't have that information yet, but I'm guessing that it would at least have a USB-C. Besides that, I can't speculate or say whether or not they'll include an Ethernet port um, because it's probably more expensive to get those. So I would assume that they're just going to go with the power source and the HDMI out. So pay television provider DirecTV has started offering subscribers a new streaming dongle that could one day replace its Osprey set-top box, the desk learned. The dongle called Gemini Air is powered by a version of Android that allows television viewers to access the streaming version of DirecTV, aptly called DirecTV Streams, alongside thousands of movies and TV shows apps, including Netflix, Amazon Prime Videos, Hulu, Disney Plus, Pluto TV, and more from this device. So basically just any Android TV device, you're gonna have these applications. So just saying that, hey, this is provided by DirecTV, probably manufactured by DirecTV with a version of DirecTV stream built in. However, you still have a version of the Google Play Store where you can download the rest of these applications. So Gemini Air resembles similar TV dongles like the Chromecast or Google TV or the TiVo stream. It plugs into the back of the television through its HDMI port. It is powered with an AC adapter and it comes bundled with a voice powered remote control that leverages the power of the Google Assistant for search and discovery. The device is also capable of streaming content in ultra high definition or UHD from supported apps like Netflix, YouTube, and will also support Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos content. It goes on to say that marketing material seen by the desk shows Gemini Air is being offered to a thousand DirecTV stream customers with eligible customers receiving emails for the offer this week. Now, customers can't order Gemini Air device without the email. They can't be purchased at a retail store or customer service can't order one for a customer on their behalf. Public filings discovered by the desk shows Gemini Air has been in development since late last year. And I think I did a, a Initial video on this as well. With the DirecTV filing term Gemini Air for protection of the US Patent and Trademark Office last November. Documents submitted to the FCC last December revealed that the device is manufactured by South Korean based Humax company with the dongle itself made in Vietnam. So let's clarify how much the Gemini Air dongle will cost customers when it's available for sale. The current Osprey branded set top box costs $120 when customers sign up for DirecTV. Though new subscribers can sometimes get these boxes for free with a multi month commitment to service. The desk has reached out to representative DirecTV about the new device and will provide more information when available. So we talked a little bit about the dongle. Uh, if this is what the device is going to look like. But um, as far as the remote, um, look like we have an on, we have an input and an off button up top. And we have a guide button, home list, record it looks like, exit, we have the navigation, back, I'm assuming this is the menu. We have the volume, up and down, channel up and down, Google Assistant in the middle, we have the mute. Can't make out what this one is, but we have the play, pause, rewind, and then we have the number. So not a bad looking remote in itself. Um, curious um, if that size is true, if it's more of the size of a Fire Stick remote, or if it's more the size of a traditional TV remote. So once we have more details, I'll, I'll do a follow up video on this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, this might not interest you if you're not a direct TV customer, but still good to know that there are other options out there. New to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.